Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, I already make some morph targets, but I want to create some controllers that can be easier to use, uh, easy life for animator actually. Uh, like, for example, this eye. Okay, let's hide this and then let's go to perspective and actually let's hide morph targets. Okay, perfect. Next step, I want to select both of these by pressing shift and right click, cut it. Okay, uh, next step, let's press F to go in front view and then let's create a rectangle. We can disable viewport and actually I want this to be 10 by, let's see, four centimeter. Next step, let's go to create a cycle. Uh, something like this. And then let's go to align, quick align, select the square. Actually, let's go to align and make sure all these position are checked and press OK. Okay, perfect. Now I want to link this circle to this square. So where this square is going, the circle is going to. Next, I want to go to animation, I kiss all, and the first one, I want to actually, I want to select the square, sorry, animation, I kiss over. Okay. And now uh, make sure the gold display is dis disable. Usually it's set like this, but I have already disabled because I made an experiment first. So make sure that this is disabled. Let's select the square and let's go to hierarchy and then IQ. And we need to disable all rotational. Do the same for the cycle. Okay, cool. Now, uh, with cycle selected, let's go to sliding joint and we need to activate all of this. But the Z axis and the X axis, we need to limit it to zero. So we just uh, going to move it up and down like this, but we cannot drag it right to left. Okay, perfect. But Actually, let's limit this to and set it to 10. And if we move this up, we'll stop there and stop here. Uh, one problem is we need to go select this uh, rectangular and go to pivot and affect object only. Let's move it to something like this. Let's make another quick test. Okay, I think everything is pretty decent. Okay, next step, we need to go to, let's select this head with more four. And let's press control five, and let's go to modify object, more four, and let's pick up uh, left eye and select that small circle and then let's go to object and press radius okay uh, let's select this circle and refresh this one and then we need to go to transform uh, F key and then we need position and actually we need this I position perfect now we need to go here and press shift A for the star and 10 centimeter. We need just one way and let's connect. And let's make our first quick test. So we have the circle selected. I'll move this up. And as you can see, we have our first eye closing. That's so cool. Uh, let's close this for now. 
uh, we can choose to see them better in viewport and uh, we can also change the color that's so cool okay uh, for the next side we can select both of this press shift duplicate press ok and then uh, let's select again this body and press Control 5 and transform uh, modify object more for and now select right eye and let's go and select this circle object and again radius okay let's select the circle refresh it let's go transform fk position and once again shift 8 and then let's select 10 centimeter and then one way connect yep left eye actually right eye already uh, updated so <laughs> that's so cool we can select both of them obviously uh, I could copy this name ctrl c and Ctrl V left one copy so we know the exact names um, yep that's so cool you can move this in front if you want as you can see only up and down on the limit from 0 to 10 Well, I think that's all. Um, as usually, I hope, I really hope you find this video helpful. Uh, this was a quick video on showing how you can add uh, more controls to the Morpher. And, um, yep, see you next time. I think I'm in the mood for another project like ZBrush, but I will see. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. That will help me a lot. Uh, see you next time. Take care.